Alrighty guys, Madman Mandela coming at you live from the Garden of the Garage here in beautiful Alabama. Pre-recorded, of course. And here we are once again. Hope you had a great weekend. Lord knows I did. We got back from Gulf Shores on Monday. And, um, you know, I wanted to take Lorraine out for, you know, for Mother's Day. And also, besides that, she's getting surgery done. Cataracts, unfortunately. So, we just wanted to take her out and have a good time before she went under the knife. <laughs> She's going to slap me for that. Anyway, guys, all right. We did five consoles today, and this here is one of them, okay? This is Mr. Chris Lamb, okay? Chris did a send-in with us, and this one's a 250 gig drive. All right, it's up on the line servers. Okay, PERS, BO1, BO2, MW3, Ghost, Advanced Warfare, Raw Post. One was Jiggy and Sentinel for BO2. You got the Infinity Ops on it. You got uh, Medica Mod Menu for uh, MW2. And then, of course, you got College Football Revamped, and you have 2K8 Hoops, okay? So, we're going to go ahead, and what we're going to do is we're going to start this thing up, all right? And hopefully, by the grace of God, it will start. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to swap over to the capture card right here, all right? And uh, this morning, I made a little bit of an announcement, you know, that we migrated the database over, okay, for the server, which we did, okay? Because we're going to be accommodating, of course, uh, no KV mode, and also, you're going to receive an update. For your XEX, okay, uh, especially the customers that are already online and everything. When you get that update, it's gonna say please reboot, to finalize and reboot, okay. Please make sure to do that, all right. And then you're gonna get your update, all right. So anyway, we're gonna start off here, okay. And as you can see, we're gonna go ahead and hit Xbox 360. And by the way, this one is on the new XEX, okay. Just to let you know, uh, there's gonna be two phases of this. This is the first phase, and the second phase is gonna be no KV mode, all right. So anyway. All right, start off at the dashboard, work our way through, and as you can see, you got your battlefields on here, Call of Duty, you got the Yin Yang, uh, you know, Modern Warfare, Gears of War, okay, Grand Theft Series, Halo, and of course, NCAA Football 14, with College Football Revamped on, Red Dead Redemption, uh, Resident Evil, so on and so forth. All right, now, Xbox Live Arcade, you got a ton of Live Arcade on there as well. Then, of course, you have your homebrew section where your tools reside, and then you have a classic game on there, okay, as much as I could fit on a 250 gig drive. And, of course, you have your indie games on there as well. And then you have your emulators, okay? You got Nintendo emulator, Game Boy Advance, Sega, Main, Super Nintendo, back to Nintendo. So on and so forth, all right? Now, what you're going to do, go ahead. We'll bring this back. We'll hit the dashboard. We'll make sure that she's up and running, which she better be. And I put your profiles back on here, too, by the way, okay? As you can see, your mother trucker, okay? So on and so forth. All right, as you can see, it's up, it's online, and it is live, okay? Now, mind you, don't mind where it says you're on your final reserve day. You, you're going to have 120 days, okay? I just have to update the panel and everything now. So, you know, just to let you know, but this is the new XEX, okay? And, of course, Chevy Keats here, your Advanced Warfare, Ghost, BO2, and MW3 cheats, okay? Now, to bring this back, we're going to go ahead, Xbox Home, and that's going to take you back. All right, now, all right, when you get this thing, Okay, please remember I'm going to be shipping you a with this. You're you're gonna have a, a link to the video on this. You're gonna have a link to our startup setup video. Please make sure to watch that startup setup video before you try to power this thing on. Otherwise, you're gonna be sitting at that Xbox 360 logo for a very very long time. All right, you've got to you you've got to follow the startup setup video. Okay, you got to get it on your network first before you can go ahead and just go out there and play. Once you get on your network and it's a one-shot deal, once you do that, then you're good to go. You don't have to worry about it unless you change your router or you bring it to a friend's house or whatever. Then you have to go through that again, okay? But other than that, it's a one-shot deal. Also, in that startup setup video, there's a lot of stuff explained about this console. Please pay attention to it. There's a lot of stuff on there. I know it's an hour long. I know it's going to take some time. But while this is being shipped, watch the video, okay? And then just go back to the finer points that you don't understand, all right? So anyway... I just want to thank you for your business, Chris. I greatly do appreciate it. Okay, we're shipping it off tomorrow. You'll have your tracking number and all that stuff in an email, okay? And it will be shipped out, and you will have it in two to three days. Remember, you're going to have to sign for this thing, okay? Signature confirmation on this, all right? And thank you very, very much for your business, brother. I greatly do appreciate it. All right, now we're going to shut down him. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to grab another one here, okay? And this one happens to be Mr. Christian Bernard, okay? Now, Christian... He went ahead, he purchased the console off the website from us, and of course all of these come with a one-year part and labor warranty on it. And this is Christian's right here. Now Christian's is a two terabyte monster. 
So I'll tell you what, we're going to fire this thing up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap over to the capture card here. And then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to set the controller up. And as you can see, the thing boots like a beast. These are all RGH3 chipless installs, okay? Just to let you know. All right. And this is two terabytes of fun right here, okay? So sit back and watch because you're about to get hit with all kinds of good stuff on this damn thing. All right, we're going to boot up. We're going to get our notification from Aurora and our notification from our server, letting us know that it's online and live and all that other happy nonsense. And then we're going to go through this crazy thing, okay? And bear with me as it does this. It's a big drive, so it takes a little bit for it to get to there. All right, there you are. Not now. Ask me later. No, I'm already up to date, in which you already are. So you don't have to worry about that with the CFBR updater. You're already up to date. You don't have to worry about that. Just hit, I'm already up to date, okay? Um, when when the boys over at CFBR start doing their updates again, like they do in the fall season for the football, well, that's when we're going to have to worry about the update. And that's when you can use that. And it's a one-button updater, so it'll update the files, and, you know, you'll be good to go. All right, so now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through this thing with you, all right? Thing we're gonna do we're gonna hit the dashboard right here all right now xbox 360 start off at the dashboard you've got a ton of stuff on here my friend you have got a load of stuff call of duties at the yin yang colores yes college hoops 2k8 all right dragon ball raging blast your dead risings at the yin yang defiance all kinds of good stuff on here years of war series you know grand theft series guitar hero um halo hulk Lego out the yin yang, all kinds of Indiana Jones and Batman and Lollipop Chains, all that, all kinds of good stuff. All right, Mass Effect trilogy, Medal of Honor, baseball, basketball, you name it, it's on it. Okay, you can see. Okay, your NCAA football series from 10 to 14, of course. NHL 12, you know, Ninja Blade, Painkiller. What would be a console without Family Guy? You gotta have that. All right, and then of course you have your uh, you have your Resident Evil, Saw, Silent Hill, Skate, Skyrim, the Sonic. You Spider-Man out the yin-yang. You're going to have webs hanging out of your ass. All right? All kinds of good stuff here. All right? Godfather, Sims, and Impact, including ninjas. Okay? Yeah, ninjas. Warface, Wolfenstein, wrestling, lots of body slamming. Okay? There you go. All right? Now, Xbox Live Arcade. you got a ton of Live Arcade on here. From Wallace and Gromit to Bogeyman to Defender to Dragon's Lair from back from 1982. Or, no, no, excuse me, 83. Final exam, all kinds of good stuff. Galaga, Goat Simulator, yes. Twisted Dreams, that ought to be a good one. The Guiana Sisters, hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm scared. Okay, so on and so forth. A ton of Xbox Live Arcade on this thing. All right, and then, of course, you have your homebrew section, where your tools reside. And then, of course, you have indie games on there, where we have... Super Memories, okay, where we have Trailer Park King, we have fun making it, and then you pay child support twice, and then you want to have fun again, okay, because she's ready to go. <laughs> Damn, that's a set of cleavage, holy mackerel. All right, and then, of course, you have classic games on there. You got Boob, I mean, Brute Force, okay, you got Boob, I mean, Burnout, oh, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, Cleavage, uh, cleavage, cleavage Skies, okay, so on and so forth, okay. Yeah, you got a ton of stuff on here, okay, all kidding aside. All right, some of them don't have artwork. It's just, that's just the way it is, okay? That's Aurora, so there's nothing I can do with that. So on and so forth, though, but, you know, those are all original Xbox games. They're all playing by pass mode. All right, and then, of course, you have Super Nintendo. You got Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, Sega, Memories. I mean, MAME, PlayStation, Super Nintendo, back to Nintendo, okay? You got over 9,000 ROMs on there. Have a blast with that, all right? Now, Xbox 360, we'll hit the dashboard, make sure that she's up and online and running. Which you better be. Got it. Good. Bypass the sign in. And as you can see, it's up, it's online, it's live, or beautiful eyeball pleasing HUD. And then over our fifth tab is our cheats. Okay, so on and so forth. Now, oh yeah, to disable hit A, to enable hit A. Very, very easy. Okay, bring this back to Xbox Home, and there you have it. Now, mind you, your, your XCX is going to be updated before this ships out tomorrow, just to let you know. So it's going to have a little bit different of a color on it, okay? It's going to be all orange. And uh, you'll notice that there's no spaces in, be in between the cheats or anything like that. Okay, so that's the first phase. Second phase is going to be the no KV mode, which we migrated the database for, so we're going to be good to go. Now, mind you, okay, remember, Christian, look, brother, there's a startup setup video on my website. Okay, I'm going to give you the link to it. Please watch that before you try to power this thing on. Otherwise, you'll be looking at that logo for a very long time, and you're going to get very, very angry. Okay, 
And, you know, you got to get it up on your network first. So please watch that video before you power this thing on, okay? Thank you so much for your business, brother. I greatly do appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. We're shipping it off tomorrow. You will have a tracking number. And, of course, you will have signature confirmation all that happy nonsense in your email. And now what we're going to do here is we're going to fire up another one here. Mr. Chris Cox. Okay, he got a 120 gig. All right, so this is Chris's right here. He purchased it off the website. Got a one-year part in labor warranty. And we're going to fire this thing up. And make sure that she runs. I'm going to go ahead, swap over the capture card. This is, of course, our GH3. All right. Go ahead here and sync up this controller. All right. And I'm going to boot into this thing. And I'm going to show you what's on this thing now. Okay. Now, mind you, you're not stuck with a 120 gig drive. You can get an external drive. You can get a USB external drive up to two terabytes. Okay. Go ahead and slam it on there. And you can scan your games in or whatever. And, you know, you're good to go. So you're not just stuck with a 120 gig drive. All right. So now let's go through this, shall we? All right. Xbox 360. Start off at the dashboard. Start off with Black Ops 3. You know, you got some Call of Duties on there, MW3, you got College Hoops, Grand Theft Series, and of course you got NCA Football 14 with College Football Revamp. Now, mind you, okay, small compliment, nothing I can do about that. It's the size of the hard drive, all right? So now, Xbox Live Arcade, you got a couple of Live Arcade games on there. Balance it out a little bit. You got your homebrew section where your tools reside, and you do have emulators. Not a full compliment, but you have Sega, Super Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, and back to Sega, all right? Now, we'll go ahead, we'll make sure that she's up and online and on the server. In which it better be after all that work holy mackerel all right and there you are you're up here online on the server of course we'll hit our eyeball pleasing hut and then over in our fifth tabs as you can see if you advanced warfare cheats ghost sheets bo2 cheats and modern warfare 3 cheats and remember okay is this just your final reserve day it's not your final reserve day you're gonna have 120 days i just have to update the server okay that's it so don't worry i'm trying to push this update out so that way then everybody gets on the new update all right, and then, of course, we're going to bring this back. And there you have it. Chris, thank you for your business, brother. I greatly do appreciate it. We'll be shipping it off tomorrow. You will have it in two to three days. You'll have a tracking number. Remember, you have to sign for it. And please, for the love of God, the link that I give you to the Startup Setup video, watch that before you power this thing on, okay? Because it's important you get it up on your network first before you do. All right? Thank you very, very much for your business, brother. Greatly do appreciate it. We're going to say goodbye to Mr. Cox here. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to pull this out gingerly, and we're going to move on to Mr. Joshua Costello. Okay, good old Josh. Any relation to Lou Costello? Bud Abbott. <laughs> okay, Josh, here's yours, and Josh is a one terabyte model, okay? So we're going to go ahead, we're going to fire this crazy thing up, we're going to make sure everything's right on it. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to sync this controller up here. Right as you see, RGH3. Boots are done, no problems, thank God. All right. And now, what we're going to go ahead, we're going to boot into Aurora. We're going to get our notifications from the server and everything else, letting us know it's online live and all that other happy nonsense. And now I'm going to run through this thing and show you what you got on this crazy thing. Okay? So you bear with me as this thing goes. There you are. Okay, now I am already up to date. As you can see, you're on the new XEX, okay? Eh, hello again, hopeful recruit. My, my developer has a sense of humor. Okay. <laughs> As you can see, the change log on this thing, we completely new base rewritten from the ground up. There's nothing in that XCX that came from a dip from another server source. Okay. And in fact, you can take it apart with Ida. Have a blast. Okay. There's nothing from anywhere. This is completely written by my developer. Okay. Performance stability improvements, XUI improvements, config any, in which it now has a config any. MW3 crash is fixed, and you know, you're not on your final reserve day. Don't worry about that, okay? That'll be taken care of by the time you get the console, I promise you, okay? So, got it? Good? Okay. Now, all right, start off at the dashboard. Now, you got your battlefields on there, you got Call of Duty, you got the yin yang on there, okay? You got your college hoops on there, Crisis, Defiance, MMA, uh, you have Fight Night, you have Gears of War, Ghost Recon, okay? Uh, you got Grand Theft Auto, you got Halo. Oh, yeah, and by the way, you do have Buffington Mod Menu on that for uh, EFLC and also for Grand Theft Auto 4, okay, which allows you to do mods and all kinds of crazy stuff on GTA 4, which is still online, okay, just to let you know. All right, and then, of course, you got your Kane and Legend Madden, Mass Effect series, Medal of Honor, Midnight Club, yep, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, NBA 2K10, 
through NBA 2K17, NBA Jam, NCAA Football 10, through NCAA Football 14. Okay, with college football revamped, of course. NHL 12, PGR 4, Red Dead Redemption, Saints Row, Saw, Wrestling, Sonic. Okay, all kinds of good stuff on here. All right, Wolfenstein, bunch of more wrestling on here. And there you have it, okay? Now, Xbox Live Arcade. Yes, you got a ton of Live Arcade on here, just like the other one. This is just a one terabyte model, okay? Uh, now, your homebrew section, where your tools reside, of course. Then, of course, you have your classic games on there, and you got a bunch of classic games on there as well, as you can see. So on and so forth. They don't have all the artwork, but they're there, believe me. Now, you got indie games on there, too, okay, as you can see. And, of course, you have your emulators, okay? You got Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, Sega, MAME, PlayStation, back to Super Nintendo, so on and so forth. Now, we'll make sure that she's up and online on the server, so we'll head on back to the dashboard. And we're good. Bypass the sign-in, and as you can see, it's up, it's online, and it is live. Our beautiful eyeball-pleasing HUD, and then over in our fifth tab, our cheats, to disable A, enable A. Very easy. I'm going to bring that back, and there you have it. Josh, thank you for your business. Thank you for your patience, man. I greatly do appreciate it. We're shipping it off tomorrow. You'll have your tracking number and everything else in, the, in your email. You'll also have a link to the startup setup video. Please watch that video before you power this console on so you understand how to get it up on your network first. Otherwise, you'll be looking at the Xbox 360 logo for a very, very, very long time. I don't think you want to do that, okay? So, there you have it. Thank you so much for your business, brother. Greatly do appreciate it. All right, we're going to say goodbye to Joshua. Okay. And I've got one more here. And this cat. Really cool guy. <clears throat> All right. Mr. David Lamour. Okay. Now, David went ahead and uh, he purchased his console off the website here. All right. Now, let me explain. No, I think we have two more after this. Um, I think so. Make sure here. Yeah, I think we do. I'll go through it anyway, just to make sure. That's how that, that that's how wrecked I am right now. <laughs> I'm so tired. Okay. All right. Now look. Now, David, he went and he did a send in with a uh, with a Jasper a couple weeks back, which I did. Okay. And he wanted a two terabyte drive in it, so we did that. Right. Well, in the interim, he's like, "Hey, Tony, I ordered another console." I'm like, "What?" How many do you need? One for each finger? <laughs> Who am I to judge? He wanted a special edition Star Wars because he is a console collector and he likes to have, you know, all the crazy stuff. So, he likes toys. Here's another toy for you. All right. As you can see, it's Star Wars edition. Okay. And it's in excellent shape, of course. This is a two terabyte monster. Okay. David, you know my setup, so I don't have to tell you about the, uh, you know, power and all that other happy nonsense with the network and all that crap. Okay, you know what you're doing with this thing. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to fire it up, okay? So there you go. Yes, and it makes the freaking crazy, freaking funny noises too. I'm going to swap over the capture card here. God work. Thank you so much. All right. Now, as you can see, the console booted. We're going to get into Aurora. This is going to have the new XCX on it. And David, yeah, just to let you know, your other console, when it's online, okay, you're going to get a, you're going to get a notice to reboot. So please do that, okay, in order to accept that update for the other XEX, okay? Because like I said, we're going in, we're going at this in two phases. One, make sure that everything works right on the regular XEX. And then two, we're adding our, our no KV mode, all right? So anyway, as you can see, okay, CFBR is all good. Everything is all cool, all right? Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead here. Oh, wait a minute. I've got to sync the damn controller up here. Hang on here. All right. Now, Okay. So we're going to go to Xbox 360. We start off with the dashboard. And as you can see, okay, pretty much the same complement that your Jasper has. Okay, so on and so forth. Fully loaded, college hoops, you know, so on. Yeah, Darkness, Dead Rising, Defiance, Dragon Balls. Yeah, you play with your balls. Uh, Gears of War, you know, Grand Theft Series, Guitar Hero, Halo, Kane and Lynch, Lego, Lego, Lego everything. Yeah, Mass Effect Trilogy, yep, Baseball. You name it, it's on it, okay? NBA 2K10 through 17, NBA Jam, NCAA Football uh, Football 10 through 14, so on and so forth. Ninja Blade, Family Guy, got a Family Guy. Okay, Red Dead Redemption, Resident Evil, 
I mean, you got a ton. Sonic, Spider-Man, uh, you name it, it's on it. Godfather, it is, like, completely insane. All right? And, of course, you're wrestling out the yin-yang. All right? Now, okay, Xbox Live Arcade. A ton of Live Arcade on there, just like your other one. And then, of course, you have your homebrew section where your tools reside. And then, of course, you have your indie games on there, okay, with memories and, and, and pregnant women and more memories, okay. Oh, and ass. Okay, got to have that. And Johnny Minefield. Okay. <laughs> God. Okay, you got classic games on there, too, as well, as you can see. Okay, some don't have artwork. Some of them do. Ain't nothing I can do about that, but there you go. All right? And they all do work. And then, of course, you have your emulators, okay? You got Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, Sega, MAME, PlayStation, back to Super Nintendo, all right? You got a ton on there. And then, of course, we're going to go ahead. We'll bring that back to the dashboard right here. We'll hit the dash. Make sure everything is right. Oh, and it did that damn thing, as usual. What else is new? <sighs> I hate when it does that. I went too quick with it. That's what happened. Hang on. Sorry about that. It does happen. <laughs> Mm. Pardon me. <laughs> I just went way too fast. All right. Now, let's see. We'll bring this back here. Let it boot. Again, sorry about that, guys. Sometimes, hey, it's reality, man. At least you know I'm not cutting the video. Going, oh, I'm going to have to fix this. Oh, I'm going to have to fix this. Oh, I'm not going to do it. You know, I don't do crap like that. What you get is reality with me. Not some polished crap. I'm not into that. All right, now, let's see here. I'm already up to date. Got it. Good. Okay. Now, now we'll hit the dashboard. Let's see. There we go. Jesus Christ. Ah, I can kill it. All right, there you go. All right. Now, hitting the guide button. Okay. There's all your cheats right there, and you notice that they are a little different now. Okay. So, you know, I mean, because you're on that new XCX. Okay. So, disable A, enable A. Very easy. Bring this back. And there you have it. So, David, my friend, listen, thank you for your repeated business. I greatly do appreciate it. We're shipping it off. You're going to get it the same way you got the other one. You're going to get your tracking number, and of course, you're going to get the uh, signature confirmation. And you're going to get links to this video and also uh, a link to the startup setup video just for ha ha's sake. Just because I like to annoy you. All right, so there you have it. And, uh, you know, pretty much thanks again for your business, brother. I greatly do appreciate it, okay? Now, let's think about him now, just in case I forgot this last console, because I don't think I did them in the order that I wanted to, but that's okay. We're going to do this one more time here, okay? This is Mr. Chris Lamb. All right, now, Chris, he went ahead and bought his console. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and plug this all in right here, Okay. And Chris, this is yours right here. So we're going to fire this thing up. Make sure everything is right and tight. And I'm going to go through this thing. With the capture card. There you go. Yeah, I'm sorry if I'm a little throttle. Just got, yeah, just, I've, I've been so busy and it's just crazy. I'm human, just like everybody else. And we all make mistakes. So it happens. But anyway, just want to make sure that I cover him too. Okay, got it. Good. Okay. All right, so Chris, this one is yours right here. Now, what we're going to do here, Xbox 360, start off at the dashboard. First of all, let me make sure what size this is. Yep, this one's a 250 gig. Okay, I just want to make sure. All right, so we start off at the dashboard, work our way through. As you can see, you have Battlefields, Call of Duties on there, uh, Modern Warfare, uh, College Hoops 2K8, Gears of War, Grand Theft Auto, Minecraft, NCAA Football 14 with College Football Revamped on it, of course, Zenevil, so on and so forth. Xbox Live Arcade, you got a ton of Live Arcade on there as well, as much as I can fit on a 250 gig drive. And then of course you have your homebrew section where your tools reside. And then of course you have classic games on there as well. And then you have your indie games on there. And you have emulators, you got Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, Sega, MAME, Super Nintendo, back to Nintendo. Alright, over 8,000 ROMs on there, have a blast with that. We'll go ahead, we'll hit the dashboard, make sure she's up and online. Make sure everything is good. And I did put your, uh, I did put your uh, profiles back on there. Yeah, I remember I, I did this one just a little earlier. Oh well, brain fart. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, up and online. Okay. Hey, just to show you. Hey, listen, I did it twice. Okay. You know the damn thing runs. Good for me. All right. Now, 
Okay, disable the cheat. A to enable A. Very easy. Bring this back. There you have it. So there you go. And if I didn't say it before, I'm going to say it again. For the love of God, watch the startup setup video that I'm going to give you in your email. Along with the along with your tracking number and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, before you power it on, watch that video. Okay, understand that you got to get it on your network first. And then once you do that, you'll be fine. The only time that you'll ever have to redo that is if you get a new router or we bring it to a friend's house. It's that simple. All right? So, guys, listen. Thanks for watching. I greatly do appreciate it. Thanks for putting up with my ass. <laughs> I know sometimes it can be trying, but it is what it is. <laughs> but anyway, listen, thanks so much. Guys, you all have a good one. I'm going to holler at you later. Okay, I got a bunch more consoles to do tomorrow. And, of course, I got to take Lorraine for her surgery tomorrow morning early, like 6 o'clock a.m. Wonderful. So, won't be long. And then I'll be back jamming on consoles as usual. As long as Lorraine isn't blind and, uh, you know, and she's not running into the kitchen and running into the cats and running into the walls and all that kind of good stuff. So, anyway, you'll have a good one, guys. I'm going to holler at you later. Have a great night. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one.